I we don't have to get into your story today, but what I do want you to do is something that I like to do for fighters is show people how real the fighter is. In the conversation that we had earlier, you said boxing changed my life, boxing saved my life. And you ain't got to go all into it, but I just really want you to give these people and everybody that's going to see this on Tuesday who you are. Because I think a lot of people, you're misunderstood by a lot of people forever ago. <laughs> and I just want people to understand, like, why you are who you are and, and you know, all that. And I would say, you know, uh, I'm just made in a, in a misunderstood way for the simple fact of what I've been through in my life and the trials and tribulations that, you know, I overcame, you know, uh, some things still stick with me, some things I got over, some things, you know, I'm still trying to get over. But at the same time, you know, uh, some things are just left talked about, some things is left untalked about. And, you know, that's where people get the why he's so quiet or why he don't do this or why he not promoting himself or why he's not outgoing. And, you know, I think those are the things that, you know, is left un untold because I don't talk about certain things. I just go with the flow, you know, and they'd be like, oh, man, he's a mean guy. And, and you know, Hey, He's listen, always angry. I, thought, I thought a couple of times, I said, man, stop talking to this man. He's going to hurt you. <laughs> a couple, couple times this weekend, man. And you today, oh, too. Oh, yeah. Yeah, mostly you. I was going to say, Bud might not do the, the talking when people expect him to, but if you get in a conversation with the man, he's going to talk. I promise yeah. you. Right, right. No, but it's just, I think it's just a competitive nature of, you know, growing up and not wanting to lose at nothing, yeah. you know, especially life, being that, you know, um, Coming from where I come from, it's basically life or death, you know, when you in certain situations and it's literally life or death. So you got options that you can choose to, you know, do this, do this or this. And it's going to affect you in each way that you take. Yeah. So it's like, you know, for every action, there's a reaction. And, you know, it's just on you which action you want to yeah and you you even mentioned with boxing it wasn't something you got into to be famous and, and get rich you just just boxer like I just love that's just what you do yeah but, <laughs> and, just, and now you're rich yeah and that and that probably goes into it that people just, are like man you don't want to like talk and promote yourself it's like no nah, I'm a I'm a fighter so I yeah, like to fight like I get it you know they want you to be this certain person that you go out there and you entertain and you show people your lifestyle and, you know, how you are outside of the ring and, you know, but for some reason, you know, it always stuck with me. Like, you know, my lifestyle outside of boxing, what it used to be, wasn't for everybody to know or see or, you know, talk about. It was for me and, you know, I mean, my close friends and family members to only know about. So... I'm so sheltered, it's like, what's up, man? Why you ain't doing this? Why you ain't talking? Because I never was that ter type of person to talk. I was always the type of person that, like, all right, I'm going to punch action. you in your mouth. Yeah. <laughs> about, about that to, action, boss. I ain't about to do none of this other stuff because if I feel like I got to talk about it, then I'm not going to do something. So were you the definition of watch out for the quiet ones? I was the watch out for the black one. <laughs> Watch out for the little black bad boy that's hanging on the monkey bars. But but it, it does seem like you know like with most people that but there's multiple sides to Terrence Crawford. There's the big kid who loves to to be competitive and games and have fun, and then there's the the really mean guy who's got that that temper, that fire inside of him. And yeah, but what would you say about the the couple sides to Terrence Crawford? Well, I would say. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm a very caring person, you know, uh, I love, I love my people. I love the kids. I love to have fun. I love to, you know, to be outgoing and enjoy myself and, you know, uh, look out for others. But at the same time, you know, I always been a no nonsense type of guy, like no matter what level I'm on or, you know, that's just my downfall. You know, a lot of people be like, man, you, you a world champion, man. You, 
you can't be doing this or you can't be carrying yourself you don't need like to throw that. The ball 60 yards yeah, on the street. I'll be like, this is me. Allegedly. You know, I never want to be somebody else. I never want to walk in another man's shoes. You know, I always was like, you know, this is me and this is who I am, and I'm gonna stand on it no matter what. So it's like you'd rather make ten million dollars being Terrence Crawford than making twenty five, thirty, putting on an act that it maybe gets you more attention. Let's, let's not get all. crazy now. Yeah, no, but <laughs> is it that kind of thing though? You it know, de- it depends on the act that they want me to put on. Right. You know, I'm not gonna, you know, do something that I'm against. You know, if I don't feel like it's right for me, then I'm not going to do it, you know, because, you know, I was always taught all money and good money, you know. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I would just be myself and then, you know, everything else would work out on its own.